houses in a place like this? People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... you've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Silence, Embedded! Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm! <sighs> Damn it! Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares to find the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Fire it! 
Trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it. Okay, we're on the home stretch now. now. Don't take your eyes off the cross. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. We did it! What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! Zephyr! Got it handled. But he just... He's my son. <sighs> oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. <laughs> you can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time! But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family... My people were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. 
They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. <laughs>